What is up everybody, Danny the Fireman here. Today we're gonna to be focusing on clues and patterns for this motorcycle cornering and intersection problem. So let's focus on that, especially if you're a brand new rider, these are things that you can definitely practice without even having to be on a motorcycle. You can do it in the car and you can even do it while you're walking your dog like I do every day. So let's go ahead and watch the incident and then go over what happened so we don't do it for ourselves. Before we jump into this, I want you guys to remember we do have the beginner motorcycle giveaway going on right now. We are giving away a 2019 Honda CBR 300R with ABS. Making sure we got ABS on this bike for the beginner. Guys, you can join up by going to the link in the description or the first comment. There's all the rules and there's a way to get in for free. But anyways, check it out. We're giving it away, guys. I'm super excited about it and see what you guys will do with this brand new bike. Let's go ahead and jump into this one. It happens super quick, but here's the thing. There are some clues out there to let you know, maybe I should not take it this fast that we have more time to react for an escape route, swerving, braking, whatever it is we need to do, especially in the orange stage. We don't want to go into brown stage. We want to stay in yellow and orange stage certain areas of the time, but definitely not want to be in white stage either. So right here, what we have is we have chevrons. Now chevrons are going to be a good indicator that's going to be a sharp turn. So be very careful with that because because curves and intersections are extremely deadly for motorcyclists and guess what this is two of them into one so this is the final boss so right here you got the sharp turn so be very careful with that go ahead and slow it down get ready and then you also can't see very well because of this vehicle so remember if you have bad vision you can't see these clues you're kind of screwed so slow it down or let this person go way ahead give yourself a space cushion get in a position to where you can see but that's not what we're going to be talking about today we're going to be talking about the clues that we see out here all right so he's going to hit that vehicle but real quick if we were slowing down okay if we were going slow enough or or at least the speed limit okay i think a lot of these guys might be going above the speed limit i can't tell but I mean, you can kind of see a track suit so maybe they invested in some proper safety gear so they could go fast that might be the mentality unsure not going to say that but anyways what we have right here is we do have a right turn and then we have a straight arrow and all these different markings on the road so these are all the clues for an intersection now i understand well you didn't see it until the last second and that's the problem we're going a little bit too fast so if we're going a little bit slower or the speed limit like i mentioned we'll be able to see these ahead of time and we'll be able to react with proper speed proper distance proper everything uh, another thing is you can kind of tell right here the side of the vehicle it's a little blurry here but our vision should be pretty good we need to be checking on our vision double checking you know with the doctor making sure we can ride within our limits but if you can see the side of a vehicle that is a definite pattern for an intersection the problem in this accident here is that it is a curve so very bad line of sight you can't see around the blind turn with traffic and then also an intersection so it's it's just like the worst situation overall but the problem is we can't be going this fast okay so the solution for all of this is to slow it down especially on curves that we can't see use the clue like the chevrons and all the arrows and you see the sides of vehicles it's like this is a intersection and a curve oh crap this is not good so how about we slow it down go into orange stage get ready to break so cover those front brakes get ready to swerve so you're ready to do something high alert and once you exit this area go back to yellow stage enjoy your ride and zone in so with that said i hope you guys take it nice and easy today and i'll be seeing you later